Dr. Travis Taylor. I'm a subject matter expert in space defense, asymmetric warfare, rocket science, and alien invasion. And then, just a few weeks later, something truly disturbing happened. So uh, there were a lot of different uh, data sets that came in that uh, we looked at, tried to figure out what they were. There were some that turned out to be weather balloons. From being a secret government agent to finding an entity with the potential to crash a plane, Dr. Travis admitted to feeling a level of fear unlike anything imaginable. Many skeptics never believed the overwhelming proof provided by Travis in his attempts of seeking help for what feels like could turn into a nationwide emergency. I can tell you this, George, and this is the part that really scares me the most, is uh, GPS signals over the ranch, and sometimes it stops at the fence line on the ranch, not just in the region, get jammed and stop working and even are spoofed to make, you, make vehicles think that they're underneath the surface and not where they are. And this could cause, you know, airplanes to crash. We actually had drones uh, crash because of this many times. And these aren't just little cheap drones. I'm talking $50,000 drones. This is what Travis stated in an interview. This is the part that really scares me the most. GPS signals over the ranch, and sometimes it stops at the fence line on the ranch, not just in the region, get jammed and stops working. And even our spoof to make vehicles think that they're underneath the surface and not where they are. And this could cause, you know, airplanes to crash. We actually had drones crash because of this many times. And these aren't just little cheap drones. I'm talking about drones worth $50,000. And that is a dangerous thing. If someone has a technology that can do that, they could pick a region and make GPS quit functioning. You could have automated drones that are going to crash. You could have vehicles that follow GPS systems. I mean, there's so many things that could affect. And if it can do that to GPS, you can do that to other things. So this is a capability that's happening as some kind of phenomenon that's happening that could potentially be a threat. But what shocked fans the most about Dr. Travis is that he works for the U.S. government. That's right. Dr. Travis is a part of the UAP UFO task force at the Pentagon. And this really angered his team who never knew about this all the time they worked together. They demanded an explanation and the best Dr. Travis could say was that he was under a non-disclosure agreement. Dr. Travis holds a PhD in optical science and engineering with a focus on aerospace engineering. His expertise falls under a wide range of subjects, including advanced propulsion systems, space exploration, and theoretical physics. He has been involved in numerous research and development projects, often pushing the boundaries of technological innovation. Dr. Taylor became famous through his appearances on television programs, contributing his expertise to popular science and space-related shows. He has a talent for translating complex scientific concepts into more accessible language for the general audience. Look at this going nuts. We've experienced everything from dangerous spikes in radiation. It just jumped to 18. We need to get out of here, guys. Coming to the most interesting part, something really weird went down at Skinwalker Ranch. Travis and his crew found this invisible force field all around the place. And get this, it's not your usual force field. It messes with electronics and can push stuff away. They used high-tech sensors, electromagnetic field detectors, and thermal cameras to figure out what's going on. Early findings hint that the force field might be made of some strange energy. Skinwalker Ranch is already famous for spooky stuff like UFOs, weird creatures, and things that can't be explained. Scientists and curious folks have been checking it out for a while. I have one more question. The, uh, the beacon on the end of the drill, is it always on or do you guys just turn it on when you're looking to find it? It's always on while we're drilling. And you're at 33 megahertz? Yeah. Okay. Travis, Eric, and Thomas teamed up with Aaron Blunt from Straight Shot Oil Field Services to dig into this mystery. They were ready to drill and find out what's behind the force field. With all their gadgets and determination, they started drilling hoping to unlock the secrets. But here's the kicker. They hit a snag. Something was stopping them, like an invisible wall. As they got close to the weirdness, they noticed something even stranger. The drill had this gadget on it, like a little beacon, sending out signals at 33 megahertz. A fancy machine was watching these signals closely. The signal started acting up, going all over the place. It seemed like something out there was playing with the drill. And here's where it gets even more interesting. As they were drilling, the drill faced resistance and started moving weirdly. It was like the anomaly was pushing back. The team kept an eye on the beacon's signals, and it seemed like there was something inside the area responding to the drill. 
In a surprising twist, during one of their experiments, the team realized that when the drill touched the obstacle, the beacon signals went crazy high. It was like the drill and the obstacle were having a dynamic interaction. Aaron Blunt tried to push against it, and the signals got even stronger, creating a confusing pattern of communication. No matter how hard the team tried, their drill couldn't get through that weird object. The force field was like a tough barrier, not budging even with over 8,000 pounds of power and various attempts to break through. Surprisingly, the drill bit itself came out of the struggle totally fine. It didn't have any scratches or damage, almost like it hit an invisible, super smooth wall. This discovery was a big deal. The team had to figure out what the heck was inside the mesa that could resist all their efforts. The force field messing with the drill and the drill coming out untouched raised big questions about how things work. As they went through the stuff they collected while drilling, the team hoped to find clues about what the object was made of and where it came from. Was it some material nobody knew about with super special features? Or maybe it was a sign of super advanced tech or even aliens? The team saw this as a win because the experiment caused things to happen at the 31-foot mark, which was the main focus of their investigation. Skinwalker Ranch has a history of UFO sightings, catching the attention of the media. Back in 1996, the Deseret News in Salt Lake City, Utah, was the first to talk about the strange things happening at the ranch. Investigative journalist George Knapp added more fuel to the fire with a series of articles in the Las Vegas Mercury, where he shared his research and findings. Since those stories, tens of thousands of people have beaten a path out there to look around in the sky and to see whatever is flying around, UFOs or secret planes. Every major news organization in the world has beaten a path to Area 51's door. A lot of them made fun of me and fun of the whole alien scenario, but they've all been out there. These articles looked into a family who moved into a house on the ranch and claimed to go through weird and scary stuff. According to them, these spooky things happened when they were alone in the house. The ranch, near the Uinta and Ore Indian Reservation, is casually called the UFO Ranch. That's because it's got this history of weird stuff happening for about 50 years. I'll give you a countdown when we're ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, shit. All right, we've got an ignition malfunction on the rocket. Stand by. So when the team went to this triangle area, they found something just as weird as the invisible force field. They brought along eight thermal cameras, but only two are extra sharp. That means if anything odd happens, even a tiny temperature change, they can see it super clearly compared to the regular thermal cameras. It's because the new cameras can show things better than the old ones. So if the thing they're looking at gives off heat, these cameras will spot it. Their plan is to send out stuff from the triangle that goes more than 100 feet up. David, Mason, Eric, and the rest will use these eight special thermal cameras to keep a close eye on everything. These cameras can catch quick changes in temperature that our eyes can't see but can be noticed after the stuff goes up from the triangle. They wanted to head to the south field to try out their experiment. But depending on what happens in the triangle, they might change the plan. They figured out that using a launcher and mortar together would work best. One person would pick a side and start firing from there. At the same time, someone else would go to the other side and start firing the mortar. They would time it so that the 1.6 gigahertz sweep starts when the rockets and mortar are launched, all happening at around the 31-foot mark up in the air. The mortar started up, and the rocket seemed to be going through it before suddenly blowing up. But, turns out, it wasn't that the rocket passed through the mortar, something made the mortar explode too soon. This caused the rocket to break into pieces right after both of them went up to 31 feet above the triangle. They were trying to make that blob thing happen. This whole thing happened right after they launched the rocket and mortar. What's even crazier is that it seemed like it all went down exactly at the 31 foot mark, the same height they were aiming for. It sounds kind of crazy, right? Not knowing what caused it, one of them had this idea Let's shoot a bunch of mortars straight into that 31-foot zone. They wanted to see if they could hit something or make something visible that David's thermal cameras could catch. They were struggling to figure out where this weird stuff was coming from, so they shot a bunch of mortars straight into that 31-foot area. They moved up to the top of the launch tower, getting ready for the next launch. After that, they noticed something on the horizon. 
They checked out a part of their special thermal camera that shows temperature differences and found that it could make an image through their analysis. This thermal camera used colors to show the temperature in the room. If it was hotter than expected, the color would turn bright yellow or even pure white. In the thermal image, they saw something hotter than the area around it. They thought this strange thing they saw might show up in the thermal image. The team got curious. They wanted to know if what they did made another blob thing appear in the sky, right between the triangle and the south field. They all agreed that the best thing to do was to get closer to where this happened and launch more stuff. They wanted to see it again and figure out what it was. Following the light, they went searching for something on the southern edge of the woods. When they realized one of them caught something on camera, they knew they were on the right track. As they kept looking, there it was, exactly where the camera showed a bright object. In their special thermal camera, they noticed something weird. They saw a glow in the same spot, visible in the near-infrared spectrum. This part of the experiment really got them interested. Even though they looked hard, they couldn't figure out where the light was coming from. So, they decided to launch the rocket. At first, all they saw was the trail the rocket left behind. But they couldn't see the light inside it. The light suddenly showed up, surprising them. But then, it vanished just as fast. It disappeared into thin air, leaving nothing behind. Their ability to notice things was pretty amazing. They were confused because it completely disappeared from their view. They all agreed it was smart to go back to where they were before to double-check what they found. Just what is the meaning of these discoveries on Skinwalker Ranch? Does Dr. Travis working with the U.S. government confirm that there truly are alien spaceships roaming around our planet? Why else would the UAP UFO Task Force hire Dr. Travis, who might actually be telling the truth about the possible tragedies that could occur due to this supernatural phenomena at the Skinwalker Ranch?